Everything is awesome when you're watching Locum 23 doing high school books 2, chapter 13. The jig is up! We're coming for you, Isa, Tuesday morning. Morning announcements begin as usual with Principal Isa and her brother sitting at the news desk, Michael behind the camera. Good morning, Barry High. This is your Tiger News! Today's lunch will be. Served cold, bitch! <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open as you, Maria, Principal Hughes, and Detective Flores storm onto the set. Principal Isa, the jig is up. Or, surprise, mother... <laughs> my name is John Lee and you killed my school. Prepare to die! Yes! Huh? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. We know everything, Ashley Ferris. Oh, should we say Lana Harrell? Or is it Alexis Safar? You really do like to play pretend, don't you? And don't you think we don't know about your real identity too, Bruce? Who are you? Stephen Forrest, Marina's father and CCPD's head detective. Michael, stop the broadcast! Michael looks up and shrugs. Um, sorry, Principal Isa. Something's wrong with the broadcast. I'm not sure what could have happened. Uh, sis, wh what do we do? Isn't that obvious? Run! <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> Ashley darts out of the door before anyone can stop her. Drew's trailing only slightly behind. I'll call for backup. The rest of you chase after them. You're the detective, dude, with the gun. You and Michael, Maria, and Principal Hughes all follow Ashley and Bruce out of the library. Ashley glances behind her and kicks off her heels. She, one flies in your direction. Avoid the shoe. You swerve and the shoe flies past you, safely away from your face. I know you meant for that to hit me, Ashley. She runs out of the door without a second glance. The four of you make it to the hallway in time to see Ashley and Bruce splitting up. Bruce, go that way. I'll meet you outside. Uh, uh, on it! Ashley runs down the foreign language hallway while Bruce heads for history. You follow. I'm following her, bitch ass. We can worry about Bruce later. Don't let Ashley get away. Follow Ashley down the foreign language or layout language hallway, then on to English, then to math. Don't you know when to quit, do you, John? I should have expelled you right off the bat. As you run past the classroom, students run out to join in. Soon there's a massive pack following behind you. Come on, everybody! Run faster! This is the final boss! You follow Ashley around the corner and see a wet floor sign. We need to go around. I know a secret shortcut. Follow Principal Hughes and down a side hallway. Is this the hallway really a secret? Shh, Aiden, let her have this. At the end of the hall, you see Ashley moving for the exit. Bye bye, Barry High! She's headed for the parking lot. Don't let her get away. You make it out just in time to watch Ashley getting into her car. She slams the door shut and starts the engine. She's getting away! Wait! Caleb runs across the parking lot and stands in front of Ashley's car. Caleb, what are you doing? I've done a lot of bad things as a hall monitor. Time to make it right. You know what? Me too! And me. The two of them march up to the car and stand on either side of Caleb. The other hall monitors join in, forming a wall in front of the car. Fine, if we're all doing it. Ashley rolls down her window. I swear to God, if you don't get out of my way this instant, I will run each and every one of you over. Guys, don't let her scare you. Caleb gives you an understanding nod. Never. Suddenly you hear the blaring sound of a siren as a police car speeds into the parking lot. Wee pretty lights! Because we've needed this. The car parks quickly and the cop steps out. 
Oh, you've come from Most Wanted. How are you this evening? Do any of you know where Ashley Ferris is? Over here, officer. Officer runs over with a pair of handcuffs. Miss, step out of the vehicle and put your hands up, or I will be forced to add resisting arrest to the charges against you. Ashley looks at the officer, then at the group of students blocking her way out, then back at the officer. She turns off the car and steps out. Fine, you win. Don't forget about my brother. He's just as guilty as I am. What? No, I'm not! Quickly, everyone beat the shit out of him! I mean, you turn and see Bruce standing at the door, handcuffed next to Maria's hand. You've been using fake identities and stealing money for years! I just joined in because I wanted to be basketball coach! Well, tell it to the judge, Ferris. You and your sister are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If one, if you're unable to afford one, one will be presented to you, you poor bitch. I mean, what? The officer keeps reciting the list of rights as she and Stefan escort the two criminals to the back of the officer's car. Once they secure, the officer drives away. You finally taken down Isa. Yes. <laughs> it's too bad we couldn't beat her. I mean, what? I'll have these two in questioning for a while, but I'll keep you all updated. I'll see you later, Pumpkin. Maria turns bright red. Dad, don't call me. Sorry, I'll go now. Stefan gets into his own car, and the whole school watches as he drives away. Once he's gone, everyone stands in the parking lot, silent and unsure what to do. Until suddenly, Peyton runs towards Frank and gives him a quick hug. Wow, Frank. That was really brave of you. It's nothing. All I did was stand in front of a car. No. Guys, you stopped Ashley from getting away. That's kind of a big deal. Huge deal. Biggest of deals. It was the least we could do after how we let Isa, I mean, Ashley, trick us like that. Guys, I don't blame you, none of us should. Ashley Furious was an experienced con woman. She knew how to use your weaknesses against you. The fact that you stood up to her in the end proves that you're good people. Thank you, John. I hope you're right. Actually, can we go inside now? It's getting cold. Why are you always wearing that type of outfit? Like, really? Sakura, why are you wearing a sleeveless dress? It's February. I didn't expect to be stand spending more than a few seconds outside today. Well, we can't exactly send you all back to class after this. Everyone wait in the gym. Miss Olsen is on the phone right now with the school superintendent right now. Follow me. While you wait in the gym for word from your teachers, you and your friends start talking to Principal Hughes. So Principal Hughes, since you're not our principal anymore, what are you supposed to what are we supposed to call you? You can just call me Miss Hughes. It's good to hear your voice again, Miss Hughes. What have you been out doing? Well, I've been working at a a restaurant. <laughs> restaurant where they make wear vertical striped shirts? It's a a sports restaurant. Do you miss being principal, Miss Hughes? Sometimes. It was a lot of fun, but I know I wasn't very good at it. Whoa, what? No way. You were an awesome principal. You think so? <laughs> yeah, maybe you were a little different, but you made the school a happy place. Besides, much as I hate to admit it, assigning troublemakers to homecoming committee worked. That's wonderful. Attention, everyone. Mr. Olson has finished speaking with the school board, and they're canceling school for the rest of the day. No school? Yes! Time to party! Woohoo! Um, John? Realize everyone's staring at you. What? By me? <laughs> oh, sorry. Furthermore, they're looking into restoring the funds that Ashley Ferris stole. 
most notably, the concert band should be able to go on their spring break trip after all. Hell yeah! Magic Funland Band Competition? Here we come. They will not be able to restore the funds in time for the winter dance. Aww. Instead, they will be providing additional funding for the prom. Oh yeah, that's even better. The police and the school board have more news about Ashley Fair's scandal in the next few days. For now, you're all dis... Hang on, I have a question. Yes? Who's going to be principal now that the old principal resigned and a replacement is in jail? Well, I can't say for certain, but at the all-county meeting last weekend, Miss Riviero from DiMaggio Middle School mentioned she was up for promotion. Although, if someone was interested in coming back, I think the school board would be persuaded. Everyone looks at Miss Hughes. Oh no, I couldn't. Why not? You said you miss being principal. I, I don't know. Would you really want me back after all I've done? What did you do? You did nothing. Convince Principal Hughes to stay. We'll unlock an exclusive scene now and more in the future books. That's like, buy this car now and we'll give you a cigarette. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Like, and we may give you the lighter <laughs> sometime in the future. We may. We may. We don't know. We, just let her go. We would, of course, but what about your job at the restaurant? You're right. My sweetie Burke works there, too. I couldn't possibly leave him. Are you sure? As we use, chose to go back to her new job. I'm sure. I can't just leave him there. He might get lonely. We'll miss you. I'll miss you too, Emma, but all good things must come to an end. And when you're all grown up, you can come visit me and Coach Burke at the... The restaurant? Yeah, that. So, can we go now? Maddox said we could go five minutes ago, and I'm still stuck here. If there aren't any more questions, then you're all dismissed. Come on, guys. Let's go home. You and your friends pack up your things and head back outside together. You're about to go your separate ways when a car speeds into the parking lot. What's with all the speeding today? I thought this was a school zone. Hang on, that's my dad's car. Car stops and Mr. and Mrs. Zhao step out. Ethan, are you okay? Mom? Dad? Yeah, I'm fine. All the teachers in the county got an email about the Isa. I took the rest of the day off. Mom, you didn't have to... Yes, I did. The email explained that the woman was manipulating students, and we realized she made an example of you. We're very sorry. Very, very sorry. We should have suspected something was wrong. So you speed into a parking lot to apologize to your son? I mean, damn, okay. Isa didn't just manipulate students. She manipulated everyone. You, me, Aiden, Principal Hughes. Yes, and she knew that my suspension would be a shock to you, and that's part of why she picked me. Maybe so, but as parents, we should have known the, to have more respect for our own child. From now on, we're going to listen to you, Aiden. We promise. Oh, Mom and Dad. Hugs each of them. When he's done, you wave your hand to get their attention. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Zhao? Please, call us Glenn and Bridget. Okay, Glenn and Bridget. I know we didn't get off to a great start, but... I'm excited to turn over an early. Me too. I have to come by our house again sometime. I'd be happy to. Here. Reaches out, and the two of you shake hands. Bridget extends hers, and you shake it as well. So, all of you, I think this calls for a trip to the roller rink. That sounds perfect. The next day. 
after not being able to see the roller rink. Hashtag depressed. You make your way down the hallway past the lockers looking for one in particular. Emma. Hi, Emma. She looks up from her locker and smiles when she sees you. John, guess what? What? Yesterday at work, they announced that I made Employee of the Month. Congrats. You definitely deserve it after how hard you've worked. The best part is the Employee of the Month gets an automatic raise. My mom is going to be so happy. She should be. That's a big accomplishment. I hope I can cut back on hours now. I've missed you. I've missed you too, Emma. I should kiss her. Put your arms on Emma's shoulders and touch your lips to hers for a kiss. Hey, John, I need your help. Thank you for ruining our moment. Huh? You and pull Emma pull apart quickly to see Peyton running up to you. Oh, sorry, am I interrupting something? Couldn't have told you could you couldn't have, you couldn't have seen it you couldn't have, no 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 what were you staring at as you were running up to us guessing were you staring at the the ceiling the wall what Emma blushes and looks down you turn to Baton um don't worry about it what do you need okay so you know how the winter formal was canceled right yeah I'm really sorry about that Peyton. Well, it's okay, because my parents are letting me throw a huge party at the exact time when it was supposed to be, so everyone is fighting. Really? That's wonderful. You're coming, right? Obviously. So, what's the problem, then? I decided on a theme. I saw this really amazing pink Paris party theme on Snapshot last week. I was gonna go all out and get the spike sparkling cider and have a super romantic toast, but then I found a colorful these purple letters, man. It's it's triggering me. Creek theme on pin stop last night and could you just say Pinterest and Instagram? Like, are they gonna sue you because they're social media outlets or something? Oh. I'm gonna stop thinking about how cool it would be to hire acrobats. Oh, the horror. What do you think? You look at Emma. I don't know, but those sound good to me. I was afraid of that. John, what about you? As I had to clear my throat, you close your eyes and picture the different themes. Select a theme to pre preview. Pink Paris? I mean, I, I knew what I was expecting. Wow, this is your house? Huh. Not bad. Colorful Keurig. Royal Romance damn theme song. Next is No Decorations. Welcome to Love Hacks. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I think every time I hear this song. Okay, I'm done previewing. John, are you there? Your eyes fly open and you realize Peyton and Emma are staring at you. Yeah, just picturing the themes. Tutorial. Choosing either the pink pairs or colorful themes for the party will unlock theme exclusive scenes in the next chapter. No decorations. Are you sure? This party is going to be perfect already. Why mess with perfection? Can't argue with that. I gotta go meet Mia before uh, the class starts. I'll see you two at the party. She skips away. Yep. Very high as a officially back to normal. Well, we haven't met the new principal, though. May it last. Now, where were we? You pull Lemon in for a long, gentle kiss. Oh, that's right. And now, we should head to class. Right behind you. You pick up your backpacks and walk together towards Miss Maddox's class. Quick improving! Um, as you're walking towards the class, Emma smacks you on your ass and goes... 
You did good, John. <laughs> Next time on High School Story, Payton's hosting the party of the season. Has the time come to get serious with a special someone? Yeah, I was thinking I'm going with Michael. You know, just... <laughs> oh, man. Um, and don't worry. I'm sure they're going to have us pick, just like they do all the time recently. Um, what's that? You've been with Emma for a whole two books? What? All of a sudden you choose Aiden? All right. So, uh, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Head down in the description below. There's a few links to social media, as well as a Discord where you get to hang out with me and uh, other members of the YouTube community that watch my content. And, and uh, you get to chillax and chat in there. And also, there's a few links to support me and my content. It's greatly appreciated, and please do so if you can. Otherwise, if you're unable to, it's okay. Just feel free to please like and share the content. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and thank you all for watching. Peace!